What do you need to know to keep your health data truly private? Let's talk about app privacy labels in the App Store on iPhone. I've been really wanting to talk about your private health data and how do we know what different companies and different apps are doing with that data? What are they sharing with others and what can be personally linked to our own identities? Apple has released what we sometimes affectionately call nutrition labels for privacy on the App Store, but I am not a privacy or security expert. I don't pretend to be at all. And so I wanted to make sure that you were getting some information that came from somebody who looks into this more than I do. Hey, Andrew Orr, thank you so much for joining me. Can you tell people why I might've asked you in particular for help and what other things you do before we get started? Hey, uh, thanks for having me. So I think I'm a little bit known in some circles of being interested in topics like security and privacy. And today we are going to examine um, some app privacy features that Apple has added into its operating systems. For those of you who don't know, these are the things that Facebook threw a hissy fit about because it was going to impact their advertising. Um, and specifically, some of these features were asking people if they can be tracked. But one of the things that a lot of people in the nerd circles call like app store privacy labels, or they talk about them like being nutrition labels. Yeah. And I have found when I look at those, they're a little bit hard to read. So could we actually just look at some and you help me break them down? Yeah, absolutely. Because you mentioned Facebook. Why don't we check that out? So yeah, scrolling to the bottom, we see these elements on screen. And I believe Apple added these labels alongside app tracking transparency in some iOS 14 uh, point update. And they will have labels like this is the data used to track you, data linked to you, or maybe it says this is the data we might collect, but it's not linked to you. So there's a little variety of them. Oh. I don't see any data not linked to me on the on the Facebook one. Hopefully, we'll have another example. And I think this is why Facebook was a little annoyed because <laughs> now Apple requires them to list everything. Um, you can also tap on them, and that gives you a little bit more information too. Oh, contact info like my physical address. Suddenly, that feels a lot more personal than just generic contact information. I mean, who doesn't have an email address to spam me with, right? These labels are a good heads up of what you might expect before you download an app. But it's also important to consider, you know, not only what they're tracking, but why they are and if they should be asking for this information in the first place. Like, for example, um, if an app requires you to sign up to their service using your email address, then, you know, obviously um, they're going to list, you know, this is the data that we collect, your email address. So that makes sense. But say maybe it's an app like a health app where the label says it collects, you know, health and fitness data. That makes sense. But maybe it yeah. wouldn't make sense if it also collects your, you know, phone number or email address or something like that. So just thinking about it that way, I think is good. And so when it says used to track me up at the top, so this is the data used to track me by whom? Tracking is usually associated with advertising. In iOS, whenever someone encounters blue text, that means it can be clicked on. So if we click on the learn more text... <laughs> Apple gives you its explanation. There are some instances where developers aren't required to list the data in the section it says under certain circumstances. At the near the bottom, we see, you know, data can be linked or may not be linked with third-party data for advertising purposes. So that's usually what tracking means. It means that the data, the developer is sharing your data with other third parties like advertisers who can then basically build a profile um, on you because it's also receiving data from millions of other apps and websites, you know? And so I'm not just sharing this with Facebook. Facebook is collecting that information about you 
And then if they want to, and they probably do, if it's Facebook, they can <laughs> share that data with uh, their advertising, meaning they can target personalized ads towards you based on like your gender or location, just as a couple examples. So what about that thing where um, I, I was looking at something on Facebook and now I'm seeing ads for it on this other website? <laughs> Um, yeah, I've written about that in the past. So my view on it is that I don't think apps are secretly accessing your video, like your camera or microphone, for instance, at least on the iPhone, because at some point Apple also added a feature where it gives you like an indicator light if an app has recently accessed your camera. Um, and but I, I just think that their algorithms are just so good that they don't really need that. Like they can probably get your location data based on your Wi-Fi network. So in this thing that says linked to me, is that necessarily being shared? How do I know which of the things linked to me are being shared or not shared? I know it's not an exact science, but can I get a yeah. feel for it? You know... I'm actually not sure. I don't think it's really possible to specifically know which specific uh, data types are being linked to you. They all have their own networks. <laughs> and at some point, you don't really know. Okay. So if I'm seeing it being linked to me here, and that's to me, to my name, not, not something random, then if they also use some data to track me, it could include that potentially even if it doesn't necessarily? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would say maybe think of it as it's probable that <laughs> that's happening. <laughs> I had a couple other examples that are less obvious than Facebook. Can we take a look at those? Yeah, absolutely. One of the ones I looked at that was a popular one was Strava. So on here, some data is linked to me, some's not. I don't see a sharing thing. Does does that mean it at least is probably staying with Strava? I would say at at the most that um, that data is staying with Strava. And like I mentioned, this is a health app. Obviously, they need health and fitness information. User content could be if you upload pictures or you know whatever else. That's why they list things like that. I also wanted to mention diagnostics just because... I would say it's safe to say that pretty much every app collects diagnostics data. The developer is collecting information about how their app works, if there's like bugs or crashes, and that just helps them help to improve the app. So that's not necessarily bad. If I tap on this one, so it says there's some third-party advertising, but it looked less... This is where I get fuzzy, and maybe it's just not clear, and like that's just how it is. Third-party... I only see identifiers like, you know, whatever my user ID is and how I'm using it. Well, it says third-party advertising. So that kind of sounds like they are sharing it with other companies. Okay. Yeah. Like I said, like there are all these apps, like advertising is a big business. And so maybe they could get your user ID from this app and then combine it with maybe whatever other data and like personally link it to you. I'm not sure what advertisers could do with the usage data, but who knows? <laughs> <laughs> Analytics, is that just for whatever? I would guess that's just what I was mentioning about like um, when people use the app, like they need health and fitness data, maybe for features like, you know, here's how many miles you ran last year, for example, that would require a history of your data. Location, maybe there's some uh, feature to track your runs. I've seen right. apps do that. So that one makes they would sense. need that data. For all I know, it's so they can serve their customers by knowing what features do our customers like? Probably something like that too. So I had a couple that seem innocuous to me, but I wanted to run them by you. Product okay. personalization. That sounds like they're customizing my experience in the app, but I wasn't sure. Yeah, that's what I would, how I would interpret that. Okay. So like maybe they can save all this data in your like account profile, for example. Yeah. And app functionality. Is that similar? I would say that's probably similar. At least in my worry level. But I guess I have a harder time reading these than actual nutrition labels is what I'm saying. Uh, 
personally, I'm not too concerned with the analytics okay. if it makes sense for the app to, you know, have it. My view is, you know, I just don't want someone to build an advertising profile of me and have my data be shared because data breaches happen, you know. They do. And especially with health data, it's it's particularly scary. I've got one in the uh, indoor plumbing health realm, and I want you to, it looks okay to me, and I want you to tell me if it's okay. Because, it, it, you know, when a developer okay. says we, we take nothing, great. This is one where I felt like it looked pretty good, but I wasn't really sure. So it's an app called Kandara. It's got some data linked to me and some data not linked to me, but it's a shorter list. But I don't know if that means anything or not. Well, I, I mean, they, they collect your email address. So maybe that means, like I said, it's linked to you in the, in the way that you create an account with them. You do have and to create an account. Maybe, and, you know, maybe you delete the app, but you don't delete your account. And then later on, you reinstall it and you log into your account and that data is still there. And it sounds like maybe that's why, just because they link your health data to your email address. So you can still access it later on. Okay. Cool. And then other stuff looks like it's not linked to me. It's also listed under um, app functionality, which gave me some hope. But I don't see anything about sharing uh, or, or yeah. advertising on here. So I'm hopeful that that's not a part of this one. That's my view as well. As if there's no advertising or the word third party mentioned, <laughs> I think that's a safe bet that this data is just stored and kept by this one developer company. I mentioned that I'm pretty sure that these app privacy labels launched with app tracking transparency. So if on an iPhone, for example, if we go into settings, privacy and security tracking, there is a toggle for that. Ooh, right at the top. And then tracking at the top. Nice. Here we go. Okay. Yeah, those are all apps that I think would definitely want to track me. In this feature, that toggle, if the toggle is turned on, it means that if an app is requesting to track you, and Apple defines tracking if we click on that learn more thing. So it says Apple requires developers to ask for permission before they track your activity across Apple apps or websites that they don't own. And like we mentioned before, it's mainly for advertising. So if that toggle is turned on, it means that if an app, um, the app has to ask you for this information, you can say yes or no. Um, if the toggle is turned off, then they can't ask and they also can't track. If we go back into that learn more section, oh, yeah. Apple does have certain circumstances where, you know, for example, it's not considered tracking when the developer combines inf information about you for advertising if they're doing it solely on your device and not sending it in a way that that identifies you, for example. However, anonymized data just means that a, a company, an app can collect data about you, but they remove what's called personally identifiable information, or let's just say PII, which means that maybe they have your fitness data, but it's not linked to your name or location or um, phone number, for example. But uh, I have read a few articles where researchers were able to successfully de-anonymize some data. So in some instances, you know, you, you can only do what you can do. <laughs> like, like if I have a blurred out picture of a really famous person, if it's unblurred enough, you can still take a pretty good stab at who it is. Good analogy. <laughs> yep. So I guess at some point there's only so much people can do, but you know, it's still very good that I'm really glad that Apple added tools like these. Yeah, me too. It makes me feel a lot better about using my phone and stuff. I mean, at the end of the day, I kind of just tell myself that, you know, most companies, unless you're like a high profile person, they're probably not going to be too interested in using your data for nefarious purposes, other than they want to um, show you ads and, you know, try to make money off you. <laughs> Get you to buy stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, thank you so much for helping us out with this, Andrew. Where can people find you? Yeah, no problem. I'm glad to share some knowledge. Um, people can find me at this point, mostly on Apple Insider. I write for appleinsider.com. Um, I deleted my Twitter account a while ago, actually, so I'm not there anymore. Um, I am on Mastodon. I am at Andrew or not at masto.social. And masto.social is like, I think one of the more popular servers because it's a general purpose one. Also, sometimes you are on the Mac Voices Live, which I also frequent. And so that's one yeah. of the places that we've gotten to bond. Well, thank you so much. Yep. And we'll see you later. I want people to feel comfortable using the technology in a way that could be beneficial while also being aware of what could happen with their data, how it might be used to not your advantage. Of course, if you know and you decide to use these apps anyway, that's a different story. But knowing how to check, is this app using my data in a way that I feel comfortable with? Then you can make an informed choice whether you choose to use the app or not. I really hope that you'll be able to take a little bit more control over your own privacy and your own data. Until next time.